Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another video. In this video, let's discuss about the reporting in the manufacturing module of Kodo 60. Like in every other module, manufacturing also has a very effective reporting section where we can create reports on work orders, manufacturing orders, overall equipment effectiveness and also production analysis. This actually gives a complete idea of all these things provided in the reporting. So without wasting any time, let's dig in to the reporting section of manufacturing. Okay, so now let's take a look at the reporting in manufacturing. So for that, we have to open the manufacturing module over here. So here's the module, I'm opening it. And here you have a lot of menus and out of these menus, you have to choose the reporting menu. So click on reporting and under reporting, you have work orders, manufacturing orders, overall equipment effectiveness and production analysis. So these are the four things that is the four sub menus coming under reporting. Okay, so let's go through each one of them. So the first one is work orders. Okay, so once you open the work orders, let me close all these, you have the graphical view. Okay, you have the graphical view of the work orders which are currently and are ready, waiting, pending or in progress state. Okay, so you can see the same in pivot view. Then you have the list view of the same. Also, it provides the Gantt view. Okay, so four views are available for work orders of, you know, manufacturing. Okay, now first let's take a look at the graph view. So this is based on work centers. You can see three work centers are there. And if you just click on measure, you can see the expected duration is shown here. If you want to change the measure, you can do that. I'm changing it to quantity. If you want to get the count, you can simply click on count over here. So whatever measure you need, you can come and choose it from the measures. So that will be shown here. And this is corresponding to the work center. So as you can see, you have some default filters. If you just remove it, it will be a different, you know, result. So this is the work center. As you can see, you have assembly line one, drill station one and assembly line two, which are three different workstations. And if you just click on filters, you can see ready. That is, you can only filter ready ones. Okay, work orders which are under ready state, the waiting ones, okay, then you have pending ones, in progress, done, then you have late, and also you can filter it based on start date, okay, and if you want to add any kind of custom filter, you can add it from here, okay, and click on apply. Then you have group by. So currently you have the option to group it based on work center and product. So this is product alone. You can group it. I mean, you can choose both together as well. And if you want to add any kind of custom group, you can simply click on add custom group over here. Apply the group. Okay. So that's the group by option. And then you have favorites. So under favorites, you have save current search. That is, you can save this current search and keep it as favorites. So that next time, if you want to put the same filter, you can access it from here. Then you have link menu in spreadsheet. Okay. So if you want to link the menu of this page, or if you want to link this menu in spreadsheet, you can do that from here. And then you have insert view as well as insert link in article. So articles are the ones coming under the knowledge module, right? So if you want to insert the view or link into any article which is pre-created in the knowledge module, you can do that from here. Okay. And if you want to add this work order, that is this particular view to your dashboard, you have the option add to my dashboard. Okay. So those are the things coming under filters, group by and favorites. Now this is the bar chart. Now let's take a look at the line chart of the same. So this is the line chart. Then you have the pie chart and if you just take a look at the line and bar chart, for that you have cumulative view, descending order as well as ascending order. So I'm changing the cumulative view. Okay, so see, and you will get also the start view. Okay, so this is the graph or the graphical representation of work orders. And if you want to insert this into spreadsheet, simply click on insert in spreadsheet and, you know, after clicking it, 
I'll show you what happens. Here you will get the option to choose the spreadsheet into which you are going to insert the view. So you can either put it in a blank spreadsheet that is a fresh one or if you want to put it in the previously saved spreadsheet you can do that as well. So I'll open this analysis over here. Confirm. So I'm going to insert it into a pre-created one. Okay. So as you can see here is the view. Now you can drag and drop wherever you want it to be. Okay, and also you can resize it. See, resizing is available. Okay, so this is how you insert it into spreadsheet. Okay, now let's go back to work orders. Okay, so that's the graphical representation. Then you have the pivot view. So this is the pivot view. So the thing is that you have the same filter group by favorite options under this pivot view also. Okay. So this is the work orders where you have the duration and the expected duration, duration per unit and also different work centers. Okay. So here also you have the option to add measures. So I'm adding carried quantity. Okay. So as you can see, when I added carried okay, quantity, it is added over here. Similarly, you can add cost per hour and also duration deviation okay so this is how you add measures to it and also you have the option to insert this into spreadsheet then flip axis expand all everything is expanded right now but still if you have anything which has to be expanded it can be done and also download excel s6 file okay so that's the pivot view then you have the list view okay so this is the list view of work orders so here you have the operations, okay, this is the operations, the work centers, the manufacturing, okay, let me close all these things, okay, so this is the reference number, the product, the quantity, schedule date, okay, all those things can be seen here, okay, so you have different statuses such as finished, waiting, okay, so waiting for commodity, start, block and all okay so this is the list view of the work orders now finally you have the gantt view okay where you have the operations here and date so you can view it based on month year week or day okay so currently it shows today's data if you want to see tomorrow's you can click on this arrow over here and if you want to see yesterday's click on the arrow here okay so this is how it works so that's the work orders which is coming under reporting. Now we have the manufacturing orders. Okay. So under manufacturing order, you have only two views, which is the graphical view as well as the pivot view. So this is the graphical view. Here you have the product. And if you just take a look at the measure, you can see the product quantity is been depicted here. Okay. So here you have product. Different products can be viewed here. And this is the dates. Okay, for June and for May. Okay, so that's it. And this is the graphical view. So this is the bar chart. So for bar chart, you can make it stacked. You can make it in descending as well as ascending order. So I'm removing the stack view. And then you have the line chart for the same, which can also be viewed in stacked and cumulative view. Okay, then you have the ascending as well as descending order. Okay, and finally you have the pie chart. So this is the pie chart. You can see different colors and what those colors represent. If you just move your cursor to each of the color, you can see what it represents. Okay. Then you have the pivot view. So this is the pivot view um, of manufacturing orders. So you can get the count over here. So I'll do one thing. Add measure. I'm adding product quantity also. So along with count, product quantity is added. Now, if I'm adding extra unit cost, that will also be added. Okay. And you can flip the axis, expand all, and also download the Excel S6. So, here under filters, let's go to the graph view and let's take a look at the filters over there. Okay. So here uh, you have filters like to do, start, unbuilt, draft, confirmed, planned, in progress, too close, done, 
cancelled waiting ready and planning issues and also you can search it based on schedule date warnings and also add custom filter so these are the filters so if i choose to do the ones under to do will appear and i'm removing the group by option also okay so let's group it based on product filters to do so to do result regarding the to do has come this is the start one the unbuilt one and the draft the confirmed one then you have the planned one then in progress to close done cancelled then you have waiting as well as ready okay so you have also planning issues and warnings these are the main things which comes under the filters then you have group by where you can group it based on products status material availability procurement group schedule date and also we can add custom group to it and for all these things you have the same favorites option so i'm not explaining this favorites option over and over again okay it's similar to the previous one okay then we have the pivot view so for the pivot view also you have the same filter group by and also the favorites option okay so that's the manufacturing orders now if you just take a look at the reporting then you have overall equipment effectiveness click on that and this gives you a complete idea of the equipment effectiveness that is the overall equipment effectiveness okay this is the graphical view of overall equipment effectiveness which is also based on work centers you have two work center and if you just take a look at the measure this is the duration in minutes okay so these are the duration in minutes and you have the line chart of the same and also the pie chart okay now let's take a look at the filters you have availability losses performance losses quality losses fully productive and also date then you have group by where you have user that is group by user work center and loss receive you can also add custom group towards it okay then you have favorite which is also the same and you have the pivot view okay so for pivot view you can see two work centers okay so if you just look you can flip axis over here and then you can expand all also download excel sx then if you just take a look at the measures this is actually the duration which is in minutes if you want to add employee cost to it add it okay so that's the employee cost <laughs> okay and this can also be inserted in spreadsheet now let's take a look at the filters yeah we've already talked about it so this is same as the filters in graphical view and then you have the list view so this is the list view if you expand it you can see the data over here so under the work center you have this fully productive time what is the corresponding data coming under that and all can be seen here that is the loss reasons duration the user work center end date and so on okay so that's the overall equipment analysis or the effectiveness analysis so this actually gives you a complete idea of the equipment effectiveness then you have the production analysis so this is the production analysis this uh, shows the end date okay from this date till this date that is the end date okay and then you can see different colors representing different products okay and if you take a look at the measure you can see this is the cost okay the cost is shown here now if you want you can change it to duration of operation quantity produced and whatever it is okay 
so that's the bar chart line chart and pie chart and here you have filters which is, which includes only nd10 add custom filter and also you have the option to group it based on product okay then you have the pivot view where in pivot view you have total that is the products and also the over average total cost average component cost average operation cost and so on and if we want to add a new one that is i'm adding duration of operation so that you can see that one has also been added duration of operation okay now if you just take a look at the group by option you have product end date and add custom group and also you can compare so if you're setting previous period uh it is previous period you're setting it as end year you'll get a comparison okay so that's it now we have the pivot view okay so this is actually the analysis of production okay this will be all about the production of different products right so that's all about manufacturing reporting okay that's the reporting in manufacturing which mainly includes four things which are work order manufacturing order overall equipment effectiveness and production analysis so that was all about the reporting in manufacturing i hope it's clear thank you so much for watching see you in the next video